Hi, today we are going to explain porosity and bulk density. First off, porosity. Porosity is a term that describes the void spaces between grains or trapped in grains within a material. It is a fraction of the volume of the voids over the total volume, which is why it is also known as void fraction. This porosity fraction is found between 0 and 1, typically ranging from less than 0.01 for solid granite to more than 0.5 for peat and clay. It may also be represented in percent terms by multiplying the fraction by 100. High porosity indicates large pore sizes in between materials and low porosity indicates small spaces between the materials. Here we fill cups with different substances which in turn have different grain sizes. The size of the grain, but also the shapes of the grain, determine the overall porosity. Couscous has the lowest porosity because the grain size is the smallest. Porous materials can absorb fluids or moisture, which causes corrosion. Pores transmit water, so smaller pores and smaller void ratios are important in increasing barrier performance. In general, high total void ratios, or porosity, results in higher permeability. Now we will talk about bulk density. Bulk density describes the weight of a certain volume of material. The difference between bulk density and normal density is that bulk density is measured of a number of particles and density can only be measured of a solid, like a soil. Here we see that no matter how much we compress the soil, the mass stays the same.